Hello and welcome back. In this next series of videos, we're going to focus on setting up the development environment for creating custom programs for the Korg NTS-1 on a Windows 10 64-bit OS. We're going to need msys2, git, a code editor, and the log SDK and utilities in order to create our own programs for the NTS-1. In this first video, we will walk through the installation and setup of the msys2 software distribution and development platform. On the Getting Started page of the msys2 site, we have detailed installation instructions. First, let's download the installer. Save the file when prompted, which should be stored in your Downloads folder by default. Once the download is complete, navigate to your Downloads folder and run the installer. You can choose the installation folder location, however I use the default options here. Once the installation is complete, Tick Run MSYS to 64-bit now and click Finish. We now need to update the package database and base packages. The first step here is to run the following command in the open MSYS2 terminal window. Pacman-SYU with a capital S. When prompted in the terminal window, type Y for yes. Next, we run msys2 msys from the start menu. Update the rest of the base packages from the terminal window with pacman-su with a capital S. When prompted in the terminal window, type Y for yes. You will want to install some tools to start compiling. We can copy and paste the command from item 7 on the instructions page into the terminal window using the shortcut shift plus insert. Use the default selections by clicking the return or enter button and type Y for yes when prompted. You may find that errors occur while downloading some of the packages. If this happens, just call the command again and the updater should pick up the previous downloads and continue from where it left off. Now MSYS2 is ready for us to use. If you have any problems with your installation, please check the links on item 9 of the installation instructions on the MSYS2 Getting Started page. Thank you for watching.